Hello, hey, hope you're doing great. Um, today I'm gonna be reacting to Steve Howitt and Annie Haslam. And they're gonna do Turn of the Century and someone commented about uh, that there's a version. That this is a jazz song, right? But this one, it seems that it's like a duo, right? And that person also say that he became a classical guitarist thanks to, to this. So I'm I'm very intrigued and you know the last video that I made probably I haven't published it yet but is Steve Howard uh, Howell um I he have like uh, solo albums and I react to one of the classical songs from the first album and man and I was so it was a duo with a harpsichord so it's interesting and I appreciate more this guitarist just because of the background that he have with the classical guitar. Um, and I always find it um, beautiful when these master in electric guitar, they have other background. Um, for example, Randy Road from Aussie, so do some classical. Alex Kolnix, I think that is his name. Um, he, um, he does jazz, you know, or I don't know that jazz around jazz or i don't remember yeah i think that is that or blues i don't know but it's it's beautiful it's it's just it's great to see guitarists being open to other stuff it does say a lot about their maturity so anyway so i'm gonna be reacting to this it, i i'm expecting that this is gonna be a duo <clears throat> so let's do this <laughs> Realizing a form out of stone, set hands moving, Roan shaped his heart through his working hands, want to mold his passion into clay. That's beautiful. Like the sun in his room. His lady, she would dance and sing so completely. So be still, he now cries. I have time, oh, let clay transform the soul. We 
feels like post romantic. <laughs> I know. What that's a E major seven or sustain? I don't know what it, I know how to make that chord, but it's a E B F G sharp G M B B and E. That was amazing, man. That was amazing. Um, okay, so. I'll, Obviously, you saw my reaction. I didn't say it a lot because I was such so into the music of everything was happening. And I say a, co a comment about this remind me of post romantic music, and they remind me of post romantic music because a lot of time it's gonna go to the end and it hold you there, but then it goes somewhere else. <laughs> and post romantic music. That happens a lot. A lot of time, the cadence in the end, it never resolves, and it goes to another tonality, or you know, and it leaves you hanging. So that happens a lot in post-romantic music. And just to give you an idea, post-romantic music is music after Chopin, or you know, um, what else? Music like Chopin, or. No, no, after Chopin. Well, Chopin have some stuff from post romantic, right? But Rashmaninoff tend to be more post romantic. Mahler or uh, Wagner have a lot of post romantic. Just to give you an idea, post romantic is before we begin the modern music, contemporary, like serialism or whatever, right? Seven tone or whatever. Twelve tone, I would say, sorry. So it happened a lot that you go. He let you hanging and go to someone else, right? Which that's why when you hear that last chord, oof, that's a beautiful chord. E, e, I don't know the name of what type of E is that major seven or sustain. I, I don't know. I'm not very good at identifying this jazzy chord or whatever. No, not jazzy, but you know, um, know how to play it. But, um, but yeah, no. That's the first thing that I wanted to mention. <laughs> now I'm going to continue a little bit more about the rest. It, this is obviously beginning with the duo. And the beauty about this duo, which it make a duo for me, is that the guitar pretty much and the singer does something different. And you just create something different together, making it one, right? That's pretty much a duo, right? It's not like a company man and singing. No, it feels more like two people playing playing and singing at the same time and that's really good um well first i was like okay you know what this is a metal string you know steel string i don't know the metal string not a, a nylon i was like ah oh. but man it's just it's, it gets better <laughs> it gets better then obviously the voice and what i love is that they do a lot of third and two voices which I'm pretty sure that the original song or the song with Jess it must be amazing. So I, I really need to re react to that because, you know, this is amazing. And the Jess version should be amazing too because the vo her voice, it does remind me of the singer, yes. So, so that, you know, it does remind me. I know that this, this is how he sounds when, you know, when, when, the band goes and but obviously her, her voice is beautiful and I, I just love all what, everything that the guitar is doing all those arpeggios part that goes very up like crescendo right and then go to the, to the end and then change to something minor very like a visit and then come back to 
whatever. But then in the end, you go crescendo and just what? Just finish with that beautiful E chord. Oh my God, that's like uh, after all that tension, we go to resolve to that. Want to sneeze? <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I have been a little sick this day, so. But, but yeah, no, that was beautiful, man. I'm so happy I followed the suggestion from someone. And this is one of those songs that I'm going to be listening for a long time. I do. My love for Steve Havel continue growing. I think that he is an amazing musician and is noticeable. Those are classical influence in the music is so noticeable. I'm, yeah, the songs sound very classical as a duo. But again, it, it's not like a accompaniment. Um, but no, it's pretty much a duo. The guitar is pretty much doing their own thing in the whole song. But then we have this keyboard and then we also have a piano very subtle subtle i would say there and then the voice and then the changing voice the same person and oof this beautiful atmosphere of calmness but at the same time there is like ca beautiful chaos i will call it <laughs> which is is perfect and then i see this image and tell from yesterday i would love to know what is this image about but it's just it, it I believe I, I I think about medieval, which I know medieval music is not like what I heard, but you can transport to it with the image. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm I'm a little crazy sometimes, giving details. But that was really good. So thank you so much for for giving me these suggestions. Um, that was very beautiful. So anyway, that's my reaction pretty much. Um, if you like it. Just please give me a subscribe or like, share, comment. <laughs> it's been a long time that I don't say that, but it does help. But anyway, talk to me about more information about this, this duo or music or suggestions, you know. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.